party. So, let's play this. Look, I think it's only fair to warn you. Good stuff. Um, I am reading through your email, and you are mentioning a couple of poses: seventy-two and nineteen. Nineteen, and then seventy-two. And you talk about the face. I think what kind of... I somewhat agree. This is for sure cute. This I'm not a massive fan about. This is mouth shape. And I'm not sure if that's what you're reacting to. But this gives... This is a weird shape. And I think... I think it's okay to go from a front view to a profile. I think it's... This also helps with the silhouettes, the C-curve, reversals, and all kinds of stuff. I think it's important to have visual contrast, so it's not always front on. But when you go up here, she could also puff her cheeks, open the mouth. There's going to be, you know, a different mouth shape. Eyes, she might be wide-eyed because it's potentially a lot of effort. I think once you go in there, it's going to be a lot better. And when I say go in there, meaning adding the facial work, for Look, those moments there. Scared. I don't mind. And I think it's a good change from front to side, back to front. I think that's not too bad. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. Because I'm not sure if in your email you're implying that you just want to keep her always in the front. I don't think so. You're just asking how you can make her side view shape a bit cuter. To me, my reaction is this. I'm just not a fan of this. This mouth shape. So I think once you have life in there, it's going to be a lot better. Now, you also talk about the camera potentially being oh, handheld. I'm not sure. I will I will keep this pretty, pretty static with just the tilt and not go too handheld here. But speaking of camera, this feels like you are also translating. Or maybe the pivot is in a strange position. Hold on. <coughs> Still coughing. Yeah, I don't know. This feels like the camera is here and then the pivot is here. And it's kind of rotating, getting going up, but also closer to the character. I'm not sure what's going on here. So I would just make sure that once you're in this position, uh, this pivot off of, you know, if that's your camera, very old school camera, you're looking through here and you pivot and you're just pivoting up. I mean, you can also just pivot in the middle. It doesn't have to be super mechanically accurate, but I would stick to rotations only and not have any translates. Because given the perspective change here, I am suspecting a translate change as well. You could have a slight TY translate up in Y on top of a pivot uh, tilt up a little bit. If you don't want her to be so from below and, and massive and imposing. But maybe that's also the point. So for now, I would stick to just the pivot. In general, the movements, I saw, sorry, you're also talking about uh, IKFK matching, stuff like that. That's totally fine. And then you're talking about some pops in the arms, which I'm seeing as well. I am fully on board with what you're saying. Look, I think it's only so my impressions, if I just ignore everything you're saying, <laughs> and I'm going to ignore this, I'm just going to look at what are you showing in this animation. Look, I think it's only fair to warn you. There are a couple things. A... Watch out how these guys, by guys, I mean her arms. Her, her arms just go up. They're very twins. Timing is pretty much the same and the posing is the same. Then, that's cool. I like this. And you said you added the pause there. You added some frames. It's cool. I would just, once you're fine tuning this, you could potentially even stabilize the head even a bit more. Add some more butt wiggle just to give more of a bam. All right, now I'm going to adjust and I'm going to get up. Just because this is also uh, in reaction to Look, this. I, to I just have, I watch this and all I'm seeing is a, is a human. That sounds super weird. An adult, an adult doing this. Look, I think it's and maybe, not saying that you have to look at animated movies for reference because they've gone through the um, caricature parts, you know, the stylization of it. Um, but still, for inspiration, I would really look at uh, Boss Baby just because it's the most recent with the baby. And there's some really, really interesting movement there. Obviously not when he's in full-on adult mode, but there's some more baby moments in there. I think Jack-Jack would just be too, too young for an Incredibles reference. 
But there's just something about even this as she goes over there, I would have her lean a bit more over this way. So she goes, whoa, and then over there. Just to have a bit more contrast of baby movements with adults talk. I know we talked about that before and you have some of you have some ideas about that. But I would just kind of keep that in mind a bit. Because this is super successful. The locking of legs is definitely something that babies do. And a bit of a wiggle there. That's all great. That to me is such a great baby moment. But then when she gets up here, right this. This hunching over with hands here and all of that is so adult. So if you can make this, I'm not saying messier, but maybe the wipes are much more extreme. Where her arms go all the way out to here. So it's much more, you know, it's just not as coordinated and clean. You know, something like that, that goes full on. Just like really broad moves of cleaning her knees. Even though her knees are technically not dirty. Look, I think it's only fair that would be better. And then when you get up through here, be mindful to not have just the one axis back rotation. But you can have a little bit of over then to the side. Again, when you go up here, she might be, this is too much, but, you know, in a in a move like this where she's slightly off balance. And then when she gets to this, she gets back into a bit more stabilized posture. Again, it doesn't have to be as far back as I just drew it, but I would highly recommend to infuse the shot with more elements like this. This feels full on like a baby. So moments like this, whoa, rebalance, then go down. Okay, now up and then, whoa, because that is going to be a big deal for a baby. <clears throat> this moment, and especially this, going up like that to, you know, sway a little bit and then regain balance. So that will be my biggest impression about this so far. I think it's going to be very cute with the face shapes. I think I wouldn't worry too much about the profile view. To me, it's just mostly this locked, dare I say, commander-in-chief face, depending on if you get that reference. Um, other than that, the foot stuff is cool. That's already working really well. I'll be very careful about the camera. And the translate is also evident in how this part here, we can see how closer we get to the baby. So I think that shows us as well. So if, if you prefer this, this view, in terms of how close the baby is to the camera, then I would start here and then tilt down. If you like this view, then stay here and just tilt up. If that makes sense. Alrighty, so I would say keep going. And like you said, locks and, and matches stuff, we can work on that later because you want to block out the first thing, uh, the whole thing first so that we don't have to go into detail and then suddenly you have to make bigger changes. So going through your email, I agree with all of your steps and your plans. I'm looking at this right now. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And because I don't want to tell you to add more of the unstable baby stuff if you, if you prefer to have it more of an adult thing. I know, we again, we talked about that before, but um, I'm just going to give you always my first impressions. And then you can always override it, of course, because it is your shot after all. All righty. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.